and welcome to this fantastic interview with our lecturer, Karen Minikin, who is a TA psychotherapy lecturer here at Ironman College on the foundation course as well as the advanced course. So welcome, Karen. Thank you. So this interview is all going to be about getting to know Karen as a lecturer and understand her journey into TA psychotherapy that could be super inspiring for you if you're thinking about entering this brand new career. And also to get to know about the courses here at Ironwood College, you know, what are they about, what is the learning style and what can you do afterwards, what's the final step of the journey. So, Karen, I guess the first question um, I have for you today is, you know, how did you get into TA psychotherapy? What was the first step? What was the first step in stone for you? Well, I guess the first step starts with a bit of a sad story in that um, my, first, um, my first step into this career path was actually having my own personal therapy. Um, after um, a relationship broke down and, and it was a particularly difficult time for me as a young woman. Mm -hmm. um, but what that therapy did for me was it got me very curious and it got me very interested and it helped me to realise that I was hungry to learn more mm -hmm. about people, about relationships and particularly, I suppose, I wanted to understand myself better. Mm -hmm. Um, sure. so, so that was, I guess, that was my initial way in, as I think it is for a lot of folk that end up doing counselling or psychotherapy training, is, is, is that there's usually a combination of both personal motivation as well as professional reasons as to why they might be drawn to this um, very individual and different career, I guess, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And that's really, you know, really nice to hear that, you know, it, it came from a personal experience as well. Um, because, you know, some people might think that, you know, because they've been through something that they maybe they can't do that course. Yeah. Um, so that's really nice to hear. So how did you start training? What was it like your first sort of step in that training sort of route to qualifying as a psychotherapist? Well, um, my first um, port of call was actually a friend who had done, um, who had qualified as a person-centered counsellor mm -hmm. um, at another institute, um, at, at an institute called Metanoia in London. So I talked to her about the sort of training that might suit me. And one of the things she encouraged me to look at was to really go for a training that would be experiential. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I started looking around at different training institutes. Um, and I decided to try the institute where she had trained, as she spoke highly of it. And um, I asked for a prospectus. I had a look. And actually, I got very drawn into the transactional analysis description. Mm. I guess at the time, I was very confused. I had um, a lot of questions in my mind. And the description of transactional analysis made it seem like it might have some answers. It might throw some light on, on some mm -hmm. of the areas I'd found difficult. So, mm -hmm. so that was really my first step. I applied there um, and met, um, met Charlotte Sills, who was head of the TA department there at the time, and felt very inspired after meeting her to continue training her. And my first training was in counselling. I trained as a TA counsellor, which drew on person-centred and humanistic principles as well. Um, and um, it was a, a slightly longer counselling training that. It was three to four years. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end of that time, I decided it wasn't quite enough. So I went on and did the psychotherapy. <laughs> so I was a student for a very long time there. Yes. Um, yeah. That's brilliant, though. That's absolutely great. And you also write a lot, don't you? You're an author, you um, carry out a lot of research. Can you sort of share a bit more about that? Sure. Well, um, to be honest, as, as you're hearing, I, I really came into this um, because I was personally motivated to learn more. Um, and I never actually, in the beginning, I didn't actually intend ever to do this work as a counsellor mm -hmm. or a psychotherapist. Mm -hmm. It kind of just grew on me. And I would say the same is true of the writing. I didn't think that I would 
come into this or want to write. I just wanted to get to a point where I could earn enough money doing what I was enjoying doing, really, and what I was mm -hmm. getting a lot from personally as well as professionally. And, and the writing's been the same. Um, I started to have a few ideas while I was a student about the areas I was particularly drawn to, mm -hmm. which was our sort of social identity, the context in which we live, um, our historical life experiences. That was that always felt equally important to the kind of families that we grew up in and the kind of dynamics in those families. Traditionally, counselling and psychotherapy has focused more on you know, your families and your life ex experience there rather than your social mm -hmm. experiences. And I'm interested in both. So that's that's really what I've started writing about um, and what, what I've been published on. And um, my work is very clinically focused. So that's what I write about. I write about my, my personal and my professional experiences in my client work. So that is mainstream for me in my writing. And then the theory comes in to support that mm -hmm. rather than the other way around. Brilliant. And um, say if someone wanted to read something that you have published, where could they find that? Is there any websites that they can go and have a look on? Well, um, I've got some shorter articles in a newsletter called The Transactional Analyst. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got some longer, slightly more academic articles in a journal called the Transactional Analysis Journal. Um, and I've also written some chapters in books, mm -hmm. for example, um, Relational Transactional Analysis Principles in Practice, um, as well as Contemporary TA Psychotherapy, which is edited by Richard Erskine. The first book I mentioned is edited by Heather Fowley and Charlotte Sills. Mm -hmm. um, and also I've more recently got a chapter in a book which celebrates the life and works of Claude Steiner, which is edited by Keith Tudor called um, Claude Steiner, um, colon, Emotional <laughs> Activist because a lot of the work, a lot of the writing that I've been doing has been building on some of the ideas that Claude Steiner wrote about. Brilliant. Thank you for sharing that. That's really Thank insightful you. for anyone that's watching that wants to go and dive a bit deeper into that. Mm -hmm. So I think it'd be really great to know a bit more about the courses here at Iron Man College. Um, so maybe if we start with the foundation course, the TA Psychotherapy mm -hmm. Foundation course, it'd be really great just to have a bit of a a rough idea, you know, what is the course, how long it is, what can someone expect, and what's the next step from that course as well? Okay, so um, the first year in transactional analysis training is the foundation year in transactional analysis, and that's the best part of a year. I mean, it, it runs usually from November through to July, and it's, it's a year where um, we teach all of the core ideas and models in TA. Um, and it, it can be it can be a self-contained year, you know, people might come on it for personal interest or professional interest. So it's a standalone and it doesn't really matter which which area you're interested in. It will throw light on human relationships. It will throw light on how we operate psychologically. It will throw light on the sorts of dynamics that happen out there in the world between friends and partners and family members um, and work colleagues as well, of course. So it's it's a great it's a great year for learning more about what mm -hmm. makes people tick um, and why we do some of the things that we do do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, as I say, standalone, um, but it's also an important year if you do want to go on and train in one of the fields in TA. And at the Iron Mill, we focus on the psychotherapy field in transactional analysis um, because it's the underpinning, if you like, of all the, 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 key, the key theories um, that we have in transactional analysis. Now I need to say something else about this because I've spoken about the theory, but but actually it's a very self-reflective year. Mm -hmm. So it is a year 
where students are demanded of, if you like, in terms of reflecting on themselves, becoming more self-aware and really applying the theory to themselves and to the situations that they have in their life, personally and professionally. Mm -hmm. That's brilliant and that's, that's really good explanation of the course and you know what sort of style of teaching is it? Can they expect sort of creativity in the classroom? Is it quite engaging? It's it's very engaging so mm -hmm. it's we have um, the tutors here at the IMA we have quite a collaborative style so um, we um, will do a lot of dis we'll have a lot of discussions We'll have a lot of exercises. We'll also be um, also practicing skills, basic counselling skills, as well as more advanced counselling skills as the year progresses. Um, we'll, there'll be some maybe some short PowerPoint presentations of the actual theory. We also bring um, our own clinical examples into the situation not identifying clients as such, but using our clinical experience to give the sorts of real life situations that people um, are experiencing and, and how we've worked with, 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 with those folk. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's a combination of theory, personal reflection and professional application. So it's, it's balanced in that respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's great. Does that, that, does that give you a sense of? Yes, it does. It really does. And um, is the course accredited or anything? Yes, like it is. That? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it is. It is a level seven UKCP accredited course. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, the body that has accredited us on all, all these years we've been running it has been UCARTA, that stands for the UK Association of Transactional Analysis. So UCARTA is licensed to register training establishments like the Iron Mill, mm -hmm. so that um, they, if you like, they rubber stamp and let UKCP know that we are delivering this program to um, all of their standards of education and that we're meeting all their requirements. Brilliant, that's great. So a very, very good course there. And mm. the advanced course, so that's obviously the course that's kind of after the foundation yeah. Yeah. Um, course in TA. Can you just explain a little bit about that as well, Karen? Sure. So um, I guess the difference between the foundation year is, is, is that people are bringing their range of personal and professional experiences to the table. And then um, the, the, the following three years, if people use the foundation year to access the advanced course, we're really specifically focusing there on um, psychotherapy. Mm -hmm. So we're really thinking about TA and psychotherapy. So we're really thinking about um, the sorts of triggers that would make people want to have psychotherapy, the different ways in which you can work in psychotherapy, the demands that, that, that working in psychotherapy makes on the practitioner, the kinds of support that's available with other medical support around like GPs, the supervision you can have. So again, it's similar to the foundation year in that it balances skills, professional insight, personal awareness mm -hmm. with the theory in order to, to offer a sort of integrated learning. Um, but the focus is very much on psychotherapy in the advanced years. So there's three formal taught years. And then after that, there will be um, a dissertation and exam preparation, because after those, those three years, you'll need to do, you'll need to write a dissertation and you'll need to do an oral exam in order to finally qualify. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's like four years, isn't it? Including the foundation degree and the advanced course. It's like a four year program studying. Four year, yeah, formal program. And then after that, there will be a, a, a the final bit will be um, getting enough hours and doing your dissertation and doing your final exam. So mm -hmm. I know it sounds it sounds like a lot, and it is a lot. It's not just sounding like a lot, it, it, it is quite a lot. Um, However, 
when you're in it, and I'm thinking, I'm a testament to that. It doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> seem, it doesn't seem like it's taking a long time because it's a very, it can be a very engaging time in your life. Mm. Um, and obviously you're learning so much along the way. Sure, um, and we do have a, another video on our YouTube channel if anyone wishes to go and watch it from a TA student who explained in her interview with the cool sleeve brining nipples that even though it seems like a long time, it goes very, very quickly. And actually you do need that time to prepare yeah. and to learn and to absorb and not kind of, you know, put the foot on the gas and really, yeah. you know, try and steam your way through the course. So I think and you can makes total yeah. sense at the end of the day. Yeah, and you can register as a practitioner along the way, usually between the third and the fourth year. Mm -hmm. You can register as a um, you can register as a practitioner. Sorry, at the end of the fourth year, you can all register as a practitioner. Yeah. And we'll, we we offer a, a, a final exit award that, that allows you to do that. Mm -hmm. So it, it's you, you can start earning some money usually f from working as a therapist mm -hmm. you, around about the third or the fourth year of your training. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, and I guess the final question is, you know, if someone comes onto this course and they complete the foundation and the, found, um, the foundation and the advanced course, what would happen next for that individual? Could you just say that question again, Faye? Yeah, that's fine. Um, so in terms of someone completing the foundation course and the advanced course in TA psychotherapy, what happens next? What's kind of the next sort of stepping stone? Do, do you mean uh, after the dissertation and the yes. final exam? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, um, at, at the point of doing your final exam and passing it, um, uh, it says exam, it sounds really strict. It's actually, it does feel more like a discussion. You know, mm -hmm. you do talk about your work in your final exam. It's more of a discussion amongst colleagues, but um, so I don't want it to sound too scary. Um, I mean, it's rigorous, but it's by the time you get to your, to that point, your final exam, you're usually feeling well prepared. Um, I think we were just talking about the point when you get registered mm -hmm. as, a, as a UKCP psychotherapist. Mm -hmm. Um, and you also get um, you also get qualified, which is an internationally recognised qualification as a certified transactional analyst. Mm -hmm. yes, it's kind of like two qualifications. One's internationally recognised yes. and one's UK UK based. Okay, um, it's it's up to you really. I mean, I guess what happens for a lot of people is that they start working um primarily as as a psychotherapist not everyone does people some people might work part-time as a psychotherapist and have other work they're still doing um but for myself by the time that happened to me i was working full-time then as a psychotherapist i was still having my supervision for me personally i was still in personal therapy because that was something i continued it's going to you know sound quite scary but i continued <laughs> that for 20 years um you know, because I got so much from it, I didn't mm -hmm. didn't want to let go of it really. Um, sure. And so you get into a rhythm. You get into um, a, a, a rhythm of working really. You with your supervisor, you find out you know what might suit you in terms of your working pattern. How many clients a week? How many? How how often you take a break? All, all sorts mm -hmm. of things. You the the learning is ongoing. In other words. And that's great, isn't it? Because it is a journey and, you know, it's, it's just amazing that even if you went to start this career and you completed your study and you're still going to be learning for the next how, oh, many, how many years. <laughs> I think that is one of the things that, I mean, I'm sure that's true of many professions, mm -hmm. but it's, it, it's magnified, I think, in counselling and psychotherapy is the more experience you get, and the more you go on learning because things are changing and new ideas and new ways of doing things are coming into the frame all the time mm -hmm. so uh, we continue to develop and that's a very important aspect of becoming a therapist is the ongoing development is very much a part of um, your life really and your professional life um, as you go forward yeah brilliant and in terms of the foundation course um, that starts in November, so if anyone is watching this in 2021, <laughs> then you can still sign up for the foundation course in TA Psychotherapy. 
Um, but please visit our website. You can find out all the information there. The um, website link will be in the description of this YouTube video. Um, if not, it's just www.imill.co.uk. Um, so Karen, if anyone wants to get in touch about any of the TA courses, they can either contact, obviously, the inquiries email address that can be found on the website. But alternatively, there is your IML email address on sure. the bio section of our lecturers, so you can get in touch with Karen directly. Great. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time, Karen. It's lovely to spend you know, the last 20 minutes or so with you. And yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Faye.